I'm Susan, fitness from the pro. You know, I always tell my classes that summer bodies are made in the winter. And I know everybody wants to have the six pack abs. Well, those two things can go hand in hand, but there's a third element that you need to include with that. And that is eating clean and eating right. Don't get me wrong, this video is not about nutrition and what you eat. It's about the exercises to help you get that six pack. So it's been said that <clears throat> it's best to work on the lower portion of your abdominals first because you have your own body weight of the legs and it's a little bit more challenging and you wanna start off with those exercises when your abdominals are fresh. So let's start with our very first exercise. So let's lift those legs up and you're leaning back so you want to activate that core. This is your easiest option. You're going to pull one knee and chest together. Exhale and then release. And release. Be mindful that we're not just doing the neck here, okay? You want to bring the chest and the knee together. That's option one. Option two, both knees together. Nice job. Option three, you're gonna start here with those legs lifted. Again, abs are in. It's not just the neck. It's not just the neck moving forward and back. Now we're moving on. This is all part of the lower portion of those abdominals, that portion underneath the belly button. We're gonna do reverse curls. Shoulders are away from your ears. Your hands are by your side. This is your easy option, keeping the knees bent. I like to call this the tabletop position. And you're gonna pull the belly button into your spine. Exhale, pull those knees towards your chest. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. That's your easy option. Your most more challenging option is to keep those feet flexed and it's like you're gonna push the soles of your feet toward the ceiling. We're not gonna be swinging our legs. Shoulders away from the ears, abdominals engaged. Exhale and inhale. Keep the legs from swinging. So you're using all those abs and lower. Nice job. So let's roll ourselves back up again. And you're probably saying, Susan, how many of these repetitions should I be doing? And I'm going to say, do as many as you can with good form. Take a break. If you're losing your form, take that break. If you can do a little more, that's fine. Otherwise, you can do a time sequence. 10 seconds, 20 seconds of the exercise. 30 seconds of the exercise. Do what you can with good form and then gradually add one more repetition or gradually add five more seconds just so you can build up that strength. All right, so now we're moving on. In Pilates, this is called your corkscrew, um, but I'm gonna call this ab circles and we're gonna come down onto our elbows. Now, one thing I need you to watch out for me, I don't want you to collapse into those shoulders. I need those shoulders and that chest lifted. Easy option. I'm bringing those knees to tabletop, squeezing my knees. Now I'm gonna circle. It's like my knees are gonna make little bitty circles. I'm gonna circle them down. Inhale, exhale and use. Now with a corkscrew you would be going both opposite directions, okay? So let's say we'll do 12 repetitions in this direction, keeping those knees bent, easy option, or, and I should say, modification, this is your most challenging option, so we're going to circle those legs the other way. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. So you're using the abdominals to lift those legs here and not your hip flexors. Focus on the abs, keep that chest lifted. So you do 12 repetitions to the right and you do 12 repetitions to the left. 
Moving on to a runner's crunch. Easy option. Knees to tabletop. Keep that imprinted spine. Make sure that low back stays into the mat. So we're going to just keep our head, neck, and shoulders down. Pull the belly button in. We're going to lift and extend. Lift and extend. Think about this as your runner. This is your easy option. Okay? Your next option, you can keep those knees bent. You're going to lift and lower. And lift and lower. So you're bringing the opposite elbow to the knee. So here, right and left counts as one set. Your most challenging option, those legs are extended. You're going to use those runner arms, but they're not going to pull yourself up. You're going to lift and lower and lower and lower. Good. Moving on. We're now going to work on some more obliques, but we're going to do it um, in a plank position. And <clears throat> I have a bum knee here, so uh, the easy option is to be on those knees and those toes are off the floor. Those wrists are directly underneath your shoulders. You're going to take the one knee and bring it toward that opposite elbow and come back down. Take the other knee toward the opposite elbow. Okay? Now when you're doing this, I want you to hold the knee toward that elbow for a second and really suck in that gut and pull that belly button in. Okay. Your more challenging option is to be in a full plank here. Those wrists are directly underneath your shoulders. Now you may not be able to get that knee touching the elbow, but maybe you're just bringing it here. Maybe you're here and that's fine. Keep your butt down and do what you can. Right and left knee toward that elbow. Counts as one set. Now, I'm going to come over this way. We're moving on to a pretty advanced move, but we're going to break it down for you so it's nice and simple. And we're going to be working those obliques. Let me just tuck this in here. And to start off, those knees are bent. My elbow is directly underneath my shoulder. Now, I want you to think that someone has a string that's coming up from your hips and they're gonna pull the string and they're gonna lift those hips as they do so and lower, okay? Now, when they lift those hips, you should be squeezing ribs and hip bones down here. This is the part that's working. Exhale and lower. Pull that string up and lower. Easiest option. Maybe you can just have your hand here and help yourself. That would be easy. Have your hand here, help yourself up. Arm up here, lift. Now take this arm and bring it underneath that armpit. We're still squeezing those ribs and hip bones. Come up and bring it underneath and up. Good. Option one. Option two, have this top leg extended. That elbow is still underneath my shoulder. Again, someone's got that string pulling the hips up, squeezing here. And you can just stay right here. When you get stronger, you can add bringing that arm underneath and lift. And underneath, squeezing, this is the body part that we're working here, and up, okay? Your most advanced option, those legs are extended. I want those hips stacked on top of each other. Watch that you're not rolling forward or backward. Again, someone's got a string. They're pulling those hips up. Squeeze it here. Maybe you're comfortable staying right here. You can go down and up. 
If you want to thread that needle, go ahead, push those hips up and really focus on squeezing the bottom ribs and hip bones. Inhale and lift and push those hips up. Think about that person pulling that string up. Bring that arm underneath you and lower. Good. So there are your different options for that. Now we're going to roll over and do the bicycle. Again, there's very many options to do with this. Option one, keep those feet on the floor. Hands to your head. Remember to keep that fist distance between your chin and chest. Let's focus on bringing this shoulder toward the opposite knee. If you need to hold your head up, you can just be mindful that you're not pulling on the head and the neck. That is very, very bad. Okay, here's option one. Option two, bring those knees to tabletop. Keep that low back into the mat. Opposite shoulder toward your knee. Okay, exhale. Once again, we're squeezing those obliques. So it's I <laughs> salt to the wound here because we already worked on it with the thread the needle. Okay? Option three, shoulder toward the knee, extend that leg and bring it back in. Pull the belly button in and now we're squeezing ribs and hip bones together. Shoulder to opposite knee. Now this side is working. I'm squeezing the ribs and hip bones together on this side and bring it back in. Good. Now pick the option that works for you. Whatever you do for your core, you have to do whatever you do for your abdominals because it's your core, it's that whole way around your waist, um, you have to do a little something for the back. So we're going to move on. Go ahead and lay on your tummy. And let's bring the forehead on the back of your hands. Pull that belly button into the spine. And we're gonna just lift one leg at a time. So belly button into the spine, inhale here and prepare. As you exhale, go ahead and lift that leg. Try and get that thigh up off the mat and focus on squeezing that butt cheek. And then lower back down. Now do the other leg, belly button into the spine. Inhale here. Exhale, lift that leg. Try and get that thigh up off the mat, squeezing that butt cheek. Options, you can stay alternating those legs, okay? More challenging, you're gonna bring those toes out, pull the belly button in, we're gonna lift both legs at the same time. Now here it's very critical that you keep that belly button pulled into the spine so you support that low back. So inhale here and prepare, pulling that belly button in. Inhale, exhale, push the pelvic and pubic bones into the mat, try and get those thighs up off the mat, squeezing both of those butt cheeks. Inhale and lower. Go ahead, lift those legs. Inhale and lower. Now again, 12 repetitions, right and left, would be one set, so you would do 12 sets, or you can do it for time, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Now we're moving on. Bring those hands right by your ears. So we're gonna inhale here, pull that belly button into the spine. As you exhale, push into those hands and lift the upper body up. Now, those shoulders are pulled away from the ears. You're pressing down into the forearms. You're stretching out that low back. Keep that belly button in. Exhale and slowly lower. Keep that belly button pulled into the spine. Shoulders away from your ears. Inhale and prepare. Exhale and lift. Inhale. Exhale and lower. Now, you could stay here. If you want to add the upper and lower body, and it's kind of like a rocking motion. <clears throat> this is how you do it. Inhale and prepare. Go ahead, lift the upper body. And then lift those legs. And then push into the forearms, lower the legs. And lift those legs. 
keep that belly button pulled to the spine. Keep those forearms on the mat. And there you have it. You can feel greatness right here in this low back, squeezing the butt cheeks. Those shoulders are pulled away from the ears. And there you have your little core exercise demo, if you will. And I wanna thank you for joining me um, on the LWCA Fitness YouTube channel. Please subscribe. It's that little circle right down here on the right part of your screen. Just click the subscribe button. And if you have any comments or suggestions, anything else you'd like to see, please let me know. It's always good to hear from you. And I wanna thank you again for joining me today.